Gali Goldfarm and today I'm going to be talking about the effects of plastic on your health because of World Environment Day. So I've decided to prepare the short video on plastics, its benefits and its, the problems that are associated with its usage and what actions we can take to reduce its harm on our health. Plastic takes anywhere between 10 and 1,000 years to decompose. This can be seen in both a positive light and a negative light. Plastic is a very, very significant part of modern day living. It's cheap, durable, flexible, and versatile. And due to these factors, we can use plastic and we'll still be able to recycle it again and again for years to come. But due to the irresponsible usage by people of plastic, it is polluting our environment. In fact, it is considered to be one of the most challenging problems in environmental protection today. And this is mainly due to our behavior with plastics. We throw plastic away without caring where it ends up and not caring enough to ensure that it reaches the proper recycling facilities. Also, as more research is conducted and more studies emerge, we realize that plastic isn't just harming nature due to our irresponsible behavior, but it is also affecting our body in a very negative way on a day-to-day -day basis. We come in contact with plastic practically every day as part of our food, uh, the way it's packaged. Um, we use plastic disposables when we take food away out of the house. We use it for storage and we drink beverages from plastic bottles, cups, straws, and plastic spoons and forks and plates. Unfortunately, plastic containers don't just hold our food and our drink, but they're made from chemicals that may be practical for everyday use because of all of their really very, very good factors, but they ultimately cause significant health risk over time. And also there's more at play than just the ingredients used by the plastic industry to make the plastics. There are also manufacturing byproducts and chemicals absorbed from the environment uh, that also contribute to why plastic is harmful to our health. Now one of these toxic chemicals uh, used in the production of uh, plastic is uh, bisphenol A, BPA for short. The concern is that these chemicals seep into our food and beverage from the plastic containers that they're held in. We consume these chemicals without even knowing it, potentially affecting our health and our well-being. So let's see how plastic affects the health of men and women and also children. Well, according to a study, at the University Medical Center in Rotterdam, the Netherlands, exposure to bisphenols and phthalates, the chemicals in plastic that make them more flexible and hardy, have adverse health effects on pregnant women and their babies. Some of the adverse health problems include reproductive system abnormalities, birth defects, hormonal imbalance, leading to recurrent miscarriages, even breast cancer, and also infertility, which is very common these days. Plastic also leads to weight gain, especially in women. Uh, the plastic food packaging interferes with metabolism and, uh, and interferes with hormonal, hormones, and this triggers weight gain. In a study published in the Journal of Nature, levels of BPA in the urine of almost a thousand uh, women in the United States were compared with self-reported weight gain and over a period of 10 years and they found that the women with the highest levels of bisphenol A reported gaining almost half a pound more weight per year than women with the lowest levels of BPA. Now, just as a side note, there were no women found without bisphenol A at all, which is a completely incredible how we're uh, exposed to these plastics now in our day and age. More studies show that bisphenol A from plastic leads to proliferation of fat cells and disrupt also the pancreatic functioning, which causes insulin resistance, which is also a factor that leads to weight gain. However, uh, the bisphenol A in plastic is not the only concern. Di-2-ethyl exile phthalates, which are shortened DEHP, uh, also found in everyday plastic products, are, are also known to be endocrine disruptors. Now, the, the exposure to these um, chemicals in women has been associated with endometriosis and ovarian toxicity. 
Now, plastic also affects men because bisphenol A interferes with the production of normal and normal function of the hormones. So men are also affected. The exposure to BPA may have adverse effects on male reproductive function and increase the risk of prostate cancer. According to a study, the DEHP phthalates uh, cause endocrine toxicity which leads to decreased levels of testosterone and its production. And plastic exposure has also been linked to testicular te toxicity. So to conclude, exposure to these chemicals found in plastic affect everyone men, women, and children, and scientific studies have linked bisphenol A and phthalates to heart damage due to increased levels of fatty acids and saturated fats in the blood, and they lead to obesity due to the disruption of glucose metabolism. They also lead to chemotherapy resistance in some people and impaired neurological function in others and also to thyroid issues. So to protect yourself and your family, limit the use of plastic in your home. And when, especially when you go out and eat outside, try not to use plastic containers. Try to use disposables made out of sugarcane or bamboo or even glass containers and drinking bottles. If you must buy plastic, then check for the label that says bisphenol A free, BPA free. Reducing the levels of plastic you use not only saves the environment from chemical pollution, suffocating water uh, bodies and the fish that live inside them and also leading to their disease, disease in these animals, but it also ultimately enhances the quality of your health and well-being. Thank you for very much for uh, watching me today. And if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube or visit my blog at www.thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much.